Welcome back to a new video. So this is probably my final session that I'm doing on my own because everything is feeling almost entirely normal. So I didn't do any ibuprofen, do any ibuprofen, I'm talking it like it's some sort of crazy. I didn't take any anti-inflammatories before training and just went in and was kind of expecting to be a little sore, expecting to have some discomfort from the previous day, but everything felt really good. And as I was starting to warm up on muscle snatches, everything felt really good. So I was able to push up to 80 for a couple singles. I did 90 for two singles. I even tried 95 and, you know, I didn't make 95, but I also didn't get hurt trying to do 95 and being in that, you know, I guess maximally flexed position um, with my back. So that was kind of exciting. The 80s felt good. There was, wasn't any discomfort on any lift that I did today, um, which is really nice. But after the uh, muscle snatches, I did some power snatches. I was able to get up to 100. I was able to do a 100 for a power this time. Um, last time I did a session like this, I did um, 100, but I had to do a full snatch. Then did some uh, power clean plus push press. Got up to 115 where I tried to do it for a double. I, I did some overhead press, I say, before that. I was able to press 95, and I attempted a double it, but I wasn't able to. And then for uh, the push press, like I said, I went to 115, tried to double that, wasn't able to do it. But just happy, like, I was able to be aggressive with training today and not be apprehensive or, like, worried about something hurting like the the issue of my it band and stuff is still something that's present so it's not like that has gone away but my back was much more of like a pressing need um, to make sure that felt good in order to you know train hard and i felt like today i was able to do that uh, after the uh, power clean stuff i did some back squats and i was able to do 200 which um, i felt with my back yesterday i didn't feel anything today um, with it and it felt good like i said just more it band then nothing with my back, um, unracking it, doing the squat, racking it back in. So that was exciting. And then the uh, clean deadlifts um, at the end, able to go up to 230 without any discomfort with that. And then at the end of the session, I think I mentioned in the last video, but I did a lot of uh, leg press, which is for uh, not really my quads particularly, were like the main part of my legs, but kind of the outer part of my legs and my hips, uh, just because of the nature of the movement and it being like my legs kind of blocked me off. It's kind of like doing a box squat, at least the position that I feel like I'm in uh, because I'm not able to do like a full range, like a squat. And uh, my friend here, don't worry, he's not distracting me. Uh, we were having a conversation. He came in with, um, he works at a barbecue restaurant and he came in with some, I think he said ribs, but he gave me one of his corn muffins. So that was extremely delicious. But we were chit-chatting um, as he was warming up and thankfully, you know, 70 kilos, 50 kilos of weights um, that you see him pop in on the clip is not really that heavy. So I'm not, you know, stressed about those. But um, I was expecting to be by myself most of the time because I came in so late. I was just being lazy all day. I think it was like, uh, I think I finished the session at like 10 o'clock. Then I came in at like 7.30 and I spent like 30 minutes rolling on a, a lacrosse ball and stretching and stuff to try to get my back to make sure it felt as good as it possibly could. Um, so I spent a lot of time warming up, a lot of time sitting around, but a lot of time productively kind of working on that area. Uh, but speaking more of the other area on my uh, hip flexor or my hip uh, IT band and abductor, the outside part of my quad, I guess, or that area, um, IT band, hip, outer part of my leg, whatever. Um, I think I mentioned it too in the last video about the um, leg press being a good accessory for that as well as doing some cable um, abduction stuff but um, hip circle and, and whatnot. Uh, I'm essentially kind of just looking up different exercises um, that I can do as far as accessory movements for that. That's the nice thing with YouTube is you have a million recommendations for stuff you can do with that. But I think a lot of it is just residual stuff that I felt with um, from the summer on it, like last summer when I uh, injured my hip slash back area. So it's just all kind of you know messed up in that area but it's something that I'm, i'll slowly be able to get better as long as i do some direct work to strengthen that area and it's something that you know has gotten better since that point so i just have to be aware of it and just be willing to, to hammer that area but that will be a lot of uh, my current accessories is to help loosen that area up but um yeah that's it for this one so as you see this pull here at the end very really productive day i was really happy everything felt good so hopefully either sunday or monday um, I'll go back into the weightlifting AI and hopefully be able to do, you know, normal volume and training. But that's it for this one. I'll talk to you on the next video and hope you have a great day. Peace.